Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a page turn effect in After Effects. So to get started we're going to open up After Effects and I have two clips here that I've taken um, when I was in Los Angeles quite a while ago. Uh, I've used one of them already for a tutorial. Um, this first one here with the MGM building so I'm just going to cut these down in order to get everything ready for the tutorial just give you guys a chance to see exactly what footage we're working with. So then I have the uh, Warner Brothers Tower, um, pretty iconic right there, and that's what I have for my second clip, just kind of a zoom on that. So now we have these two clips, and basically what we're going to be doing today is taking and going from one to the other with a page turn. So I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Um, basically it looks like one image is peeling away and you're seeing the other one revealed below it. So that's what we're going to be uh, trying to accomplish. So the way that we're going to do this is first make sure that your uh, footage is cut and edited like so. And basically now what we're going to do is take and search for the page turn effect. Now it is actually an effect um, already made in After Effects. So what we're going to do is just type in page in the effects and presets window. If you don't have that, go to window. And then you're looking for effects and presets and you can find it there. So you just type in page and it should find it. It's called CC page turn. So we're just going to take that and drag it down onto the layer that you want to be uh, turning. So in my case, it's the top one. All right, so now you can see when I actually take and put that on there, I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can get a better look. We have some options over here. So basically, if you have the effects control uh, window open under window and then down, it's for mine, it's underneath this little line here. It's called effects controls. Make sure that you have that open so you can actually make these adjustments uh, with me. So basically, you can see that we have the page turn already kind of um, working here. So I'm just going to go through a couple of the settings that we're going to be using um, and a couple that you might want to uh, play with in your own time. So basically, um, the fold position is basically how we're actually going to animate this. So if you can see basically back and forth here, that's how we're actually going to animate our turn. So by animating that, um, we can get our effect. So the second thing is the fold uh, direction, and so that's indicated by a degree. So basically by turning this, you can kind of get a pretty um, different effect. So if you want it to flip from the top, then you can turn it all the way there, and again, just turning it differently uh, to get different page turning effects. So for mine, I'm going to kind of aim from this corner to that corner, so the bottom right to the bottom left. So that's kind of the effect I'm going to go for. Now the fold radius is basically how um, tight is the crease. That's basically, I don't know um, if there's a better way to explain it, but that's kind of how it makes sense to me. So the higher the number, um, or the lower the number, the more like a fold it is. So like you've actually taken and just bent the corner down. Now the higher the number, the more of an elegant kind of curve you'll get with your um, peel back there. So I'm going to kind of leave it somewhere around there because I kind of like that um, soft kind of airy feel to the image rather than a more tight one um, that you get when you have a lower number. So with the light direction, basically this highlight on here, um, if we actually had this moving further, further you can see the light better. Um, you can change the direction to make it kind of more or less intense. Um, so that's something you might play with. Um, for the render, you can do just the back page. You can do just the front page. So if you're trying to do some drop shadows or something in there, or you need to split it up for some reason, you can do it um, like that. The back page, um, this you might actually want to adjust. You can set it to none, and then basically it'll use this default color down here. So if you have just a um, background color that you want to use, um, rather than actually having the back of the image, then you can set it using that. Um, you can also take and select the footage that you're actually using, or you can select another uh, layer, so such as my um, MGM or not my AMG and my um, Warner Brothers tower, you can actually have that on the back. So if you want, kind of wanted to flip it over, you could do something cool like that. So for this purpose, I'm just going to leave it on the back of the layer that it's on. So it's going to look like the back of this uh, image. So basically now that um, I've showed you some of those, um, what we're going to do is actually try and animate this. So I'm just going to kind of focus less on the top part there. We'll put that back down to 33% so that we can actually get some room here. And basically what we're going to do is kind of try and animate this over, I don't know, about a second or so. So I'm going to put it at 9 seconds. And then we're going to take and basically move the fold position by moving this left uh, number. So we're moving um, the X position all the way off the screen. So you can see that it's indicated by a little crosshair right here. Um, so we want to make sure that that's off of our frame and that there's no black in the bottom corner there. So just make sure that you have it solidly off of the screen there. 
So I'm going to take and now I'm going to click the stopwatch for fold position. So now I'm going to move to the end of my clip, so a little bit before, probably about a frame before um, the end of the clip, and I'm just going to toggle this down so that we can actually see the effect. So I'm just clicking these triangles to open everything up, and so now I'm just going to take and move it over here. So we're going to go for a lower number. Now you can actually type this, and I think it turns out to be somewhere around like negative 500 or something. Um, but we're basically just dragging that X value to the left now, so we're getting a negative number and it's peeling it off the screen. So we should have two keyframes now um, under the fold position, so we're animating it from one spot to another, and you can see that we have our peel effect right there. So now if we wanted to um, tweak that, we could, um, but I'm just going to finish out the effect first. So now what we can do is basically take and we need to be able to see our um, other layer underneath that. So we're going to go to where we have our first keyframe, and then I'm just going to take and drag over our other layer that we've already cut and just kind of line it up with that keyframe. So now when you peel one behind or one off then you can see the other one right there behind it. So it turns out to be a pretty nice effect. So if we hit spacebar you can see we'll let it render and then we'll just run it. You can see that we have a nice effect there. If you want it to speed up you can always take and move this in, line up your um, little playhead there and then just scoot over your clips and now it'll play at a faster rate. So you probably want your transitions to be a little bit quicker so that um, your viewer doesn't actually focus on them as much, but it does turn out to be a pretty cool um, effect. So the way that we've set this up, basically we're just moving the uh, fold position, so it's moving in a horizontal direction, so if I click on this you probably would be able to see it. Well, um, basically you can see that it's moving across the screen there. If you follow this little cross here, it's moving all the way across. So because we're only adjusting one thing to create this, we can take and adjust other things in order to change it. So if we wanted it to animate from the top corner, now basically we're animating it from the top corner. So you can just change that fold direction very easily uh, in order to change the entire thing at one time uh, rather than actually animating a bunch of different properties. We've animated one and then you can just take and kind of adjust as you go. So if we kind of wanted it to go like that, now we can kind of just change our animation on the fly. So this is a pretty nice little uh, transition I've seen it used before. Um, it works pretty well for like storybook things um, if you're going for that effect or just any kind of video that you want that kind of transition in. So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Um, I would definitely recommend checking out the effects and presets. As you can see this was an already pre-built um, effect. You just needed to know kind of what these options over here did and just playing with them for a little bit you can figure it out. So I would definitely look through the pre-built effects and presets and see what you can create. Um, so if you guys learned something, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.